Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video. It's time to do a camera test of the Samsung Galaxy A13 and this is a new budget phone from Samsung which is costing around 43,000 PKR in the Pakistan market. We have 4 GP of RAM with 128 GP of internal storage. On the back we have a quad cameras and the main sensor on the back is a 50 megapixel f1.8 aperture. Also we have 5 megapixel ultra wide f2.2 aperture. Also we have 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor f2.4 aperture. On the front we have 8 megapixel selfie camera f2.2 aperture in this infinity U display. On the front we have 6.6 .6 inch full HD plus PLS LCD display with 60 hertz refresh rate. Also this phone is running on Android 12 with the Samsung One UI version 4.1. We have latest software on this phone. Also, we have 5000 mAh battery size on this phone with a 15 watt fast charging. And this phone is powered by Samsung Exynos 850 SoC, which is not really powerful SoC. We also see this SoC on the last year A21s. So, let me show the camera UI of the Galaxy A13. So, when you open the camera, so here is the camera UI looks like. Here is a normal, and here is your 5 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have digital zoom on this phone, which goes all the way up to 10x. Also, we have portrait mode on this phone. So now let's see video recording size with the back camera. So the back camera only shoot Full HD at 30 FPS. No 4K support on this phone. We also have ultra wide video recording option as well. So now let's go to the mode section. In the mode section, we have a macro mode, and you can see which uses a 2 megapixel macro lens on the back. But you can see. No night mode with the Galaxy A13, also no slow motion as well, so that's really disappointing thing. So now let's look at the front camera. On the front we have 8 megapixel selfie camera f2.2 aperture and you can see 8 megapixel looks really decent, not the best in this price range. We should see 832 megapixel. On the front we also have a portrait mode. So now let's see video recording size with the front camera. Front camera also shoot full HD at 30 fps, no 4K support and that's about it. Again, no night mode, no slow motion with the Galaxy A13. Also, no time lapse on this phone. We only have a pro mode and a food mode. And you can see in terms of the camera features wise, I am very disappointing to see that it does not get any night mode or a slow motion on this phone. So anyways, let me show you a lot of camera samples as well as video recording. You get a better idea regarding the camera performance of the Galaxy A13. Okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 fps video recording of the Samsung Galaxy A13 using the back camera we have a 50 megapixel f1.8 aperture camera on the back so here is the video quality looks like using the main camera but this one also has a 5 megapixel ultra wide but you cannot switch between from normal to ultra wide and the dynamic range also good so now let's see video stabilization. I'm just walking around. So now let's running. And you can see in the video stabilization, I would say it is okay. Not really decent. So now let's look at the now let's see out of focus. And out of focus, it is working fine. Not the fastest, but it is working. So that's the thing and i like the color production as well okay guys this time i am using the ultra wide lens again full hd at 30 fps video recording size and you can see i'm just walking around and the color production with the ultra wide lens as well as the dynamic range it is very very good so video stabilization i'm just walking around and now let's running and video stabilization again it is okay not really decent
Okay guys, and this is a Full HD at 30 FPS video recording with the Fomfisty camera. On the front we have 8 megapixel selfie camera, F2.2 aperture, and I'm just walking around. Also let me know how is the dynamic range on this phone. So now let's see running. And you can see again, in the same case with the Fomfisty camera as well, video stabilization it is okay, not the best. But again, I like the color production even with the phone physics camera and the dynamic range also good as you can see. But when I am right there, now the sky is overexposed. Okay guys and this is a Full HD at 30 FPS video recording of the Samsung Galaxy A13. In low light this phone has a 50 megapixel main camera and you can see the colors looks I would say very very natural. I did not expect that. And let's see auto focus on this phone. More low light auto focus it is not working but when I am this little lighting now auto focus it is working which is again not the fastest same case in the daylight as well so now let's see video stabilization I'm just walking around holding my phone with my hand looks very very stable so now let's running video stabilization it is really really bad while I am running okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 FPS video recording of this Samsung Galaxy A13 using the ultrawide lens this phone has a only 5 megapixel ultra wide and you can see I cannot see anything in the ultraviolet lens looks very very dark now I can see little things and you can see ultra wide it is really very really bad in low light but good in daylight Okay guys and this is a Full HD at 30 FPS the recording of the Samsung Galaxy A13 with the Fomfisty camera. This phone has a 8 megapixel selfie camera and you can see here is the Fomfisty camera looks like in this lighting condition. The colors and the exposure level it is, is balanced very well on this phone. So now let's see video stabilization walking around and you can see stable. So now let's running. And the video stabilization it is okay with the Fomfisty camera while I'm running but decent while I'm walking. And that's about it and thank you so much for watching this camera test of the Samsung Galaxy A13. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Overall I have to say the camera performance I would say it is really decent especially with the main camera but ultra wide it is not really good on this phone and the Fomfisty camera it is also not really good especially in low light we should see a 32 megapixel selfie on this phone and subscribe to my channel for more tech videos and i will see you in my next video peace out